When teaching in Zoom, the first thing you want to do is set up your computer so that you have an extended display. I'm using an LG wide display here as my main display, and then my laptop computer is an extended display mode so I can easily move apps across the two displays. What this is going to do for you is allow you to control Zoom in a very unique way. So once you start your Zoom meeting, you can see that I'm in the Zoom room here. I've got my main camera here that's active. You can see all the controls here down on the left. You can see the, the microphone, the video settings, the participant window, and the chat window. The first thing you want to do is go ahead and share your screen. And instead of sharing application, which I can do, I'm just going to share my desktop. That's going to be on my screen too for me. You can see that once you share, the whole screen turns green. This is an easy way to do teaching because then everything placed upon your desktop is going to be visible for all the viewers in your Zoom room. So from there, I have everything ready to teach from. I can open up my PowerPoints and I can open up my browser for things I'm going to share when I'm teaching. And notice that Zoom is going to capture all of this stuff. So once I'm ready to teach and you can see as I'm speaking, the microphone is moving green here. There's no reason to say, can you hear me? Can you hear me? I know that I'm sharing because of the green outlay around my screen. And you notice what I've done is, first of all, I've taken all the cameras. Here's my other participant, Buck Rogers. And then there's my main camera. I'm going to take that zoom camera and I've got it in speaker view. I can put it into speaker view or I can go to gallery view. Either way, I want to take that camera set push it off to my secondary monitor. Then I'm gonna open up the participant where it says manage participants. I'm gonna click on that. And I'm gonna drag that over to the middle of my second screen. So I can see my participants cameras and I can shuffle through those if I make this window smaller or larger. And I've got my participant window open so I can see all my participants. And more importantly, I can hit this mute all button if people are talking or unmute all. Typically when I'm teaching, I hit the mute all button and tell students or participants to just turn their microphone on or type in the chat window if they want to talk. For the chat window, you want to go over to your top screen here and click on more. And there you'll see the chat box. And again, that you can drag over. You can see that people are already chatting in the chat window. I'm going to drag that again to my secondary monitor. So now I have the chat window open, the participant window open, and then my cameras. And then my desktop here, I'm ready to teach. So everything I'm placing on my desktop, I can teach from. I have my web browser open. I'm sharing the classroom so I can share those items. I can go to any website, work with data with the students or my participants. And PowerPoint, the way I've set it up here is Instead of putting it into slideshow mode, so if you do that, it takes up the whole screen. You don't want to do that. Click on the little reading view. So some people, when they're presenting, they just leave it in this default view, and it's very distracting because you can see all of the slides over here. Just click reading view, and now it will move into reading view, and you can make that as large as you need to on your desktop. And from there, you can go ahead and click in reading view and or the arrows and just move up and down through your reading material. Once I'm ready, I'll do the next step. I'll go up to my little bar here on the top side for Zoom, my task window. And up here, I can see that I'm sharing. And under more, I'm going to either record to the computer, which will make a file that'll be on my desktop or laptop, or I'll click record to the cloud, which is probably better to do when you record to the cloud, you can go to your enterprise version of Zoom or whatever product of Zoom you have happened to purchase. You can click just record to the cloud. Then you'll see the little recording going over here in, into the cloud. Now you're ready to teach.